Water scarcity is becoming a major concern for people around the world and Ghana is no exception. Water, they say, is life and it is linked with many services either directly or indirectly. Unfortunately, some human activities are destroying this life. Today, the spotlight is put on the Beijing Lagoon, one of Ghana's numerous water buffer zones diminishing due to poor practices. The Beijing Lagoon is situated at La, a peri-urban township in Accra, Ghana. It is located between Teshi and La. In recent times, rapid urbanization is increasingly resulting in its pollution, making two of its four wetlands diminish. Once upon a time, this used to be the famous Beishi Lagoon, a lagoon that has served many homes with different kinds of fishes. This lagoon at the moment is nothing short of a gutter. The La Dadekotopon, Lejokuku and Ayawaso North Municipal Assemblies have led the fight in reading the mangrove and buffers of encroaches. Our people are filling the buffer into the Peshi Lagoon, which is very dangerous because, I mean, they are destroying the Peshi. They are destroying the Peshi, and you can't cheat nature. But some of the developers, frustrated and disappointed, are desperately making a case for reasons why their structures should be spared. Listen, if, if you gave it to me, or my brother, or my sister, or anybody I know, you gave the person, I can't tell you on camera that you gave me. But who is responsible for the activities of the encroachers? If they say we have given them permit, they should prove it. Uh, permits come with a paper. I guess it's not something uh, 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 invisible. It's visible. So if they can prove that, oh, yes, the, the Assembly has given them permit, they should prove it that. But amidst the fight to save the Beishi Lagoon, Two assemblies, Ladma and Lekma, are at each other's throat, claiming ownership of the site, derailing their own effort to bring sanity. We intend taking the assembly to court, but uh, the uh, legal fees was what was uh, holding us because uh, we are more like an uh, individual. Uh, Teshi Consent Citizen has also been very helpful. So uh, we went to legal aid, and legal aid is now. Uh, providing us with a, a lawyer to help us uh, fight this uh, menace. The issue is that the LI that established Ladma uses the stream as the boundary and uh, the road as the boundary. And the Teshi people are claiming that the stream was used as the boundary. And uh, so it has, that has been the bond of contention. But this whole stretch, you know, the, uh, both allies, both Lekma and Ladma, signifies that the uh, stream is within Ladma. So the banks of the stream cannot be for a different district. At this rate, the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 6, 14 and 15, which all relate to water management and sustainability, still look gloomy. Till the desired result is achieved, I dare say the once pride of the guns will continue to suffer and struggle for survival at the hands of insensitive individuals who lack appreciation for biodiversity. They call it the Beishi Lagoon. I call it a dying earth. Shedrach Odami Ejari, Metro News, Accra.